Welcome to my first video of 2024. Um, feel free to just close your eyes and just sit back and relax because it's going to be a rambly video. There's really not going to be any visuals except for at the end when I kind of recap my videos of the year, but you'll have seen them already. So yeah, feel free to close those eyes and let's just dive in. So I just moved a little bit closer to the camera and the mic and as always I have my notes here. So let's kind of just get into it. My recap of 2023. It was, I would say, a very relaxed year. Almost like it blended together, but not in a bad way. Um, if that makes sense, nothing really stood out. Um, I mean, I did get promoted, and now I am in love with my job. I feel so blessed. And I was able to connect more with family and, you know, it, certain things kind of stood out to me more since I was spending more time alone by myself and more time at home since I work from home. Um, more things came apparent that I need to work on, like in my life, so, but even then, nothing really stood out. Um, so yeah, just very relaxed year, very blend together sort of year, but I'm not mad about it. So just jumping into my goals that I set for 2023, um, it, for personal, it was to work on my mental health. Um, I wanted some sort of plan laid out, or really any progress, so I set the bar low for myself, and I, I gotta be honest guys, I don't really think I worked on that too much, but to be fair, I didn't really struggle as much, and there was one thing that really stuck out to me which I will touch on for my 2024 goals, but I'm not going to really beat myself up over that. Um, I didn't lay out a plan, um, and I didn't really make progress on anything, but I had some ups and downs like you always do, but uh, I wouldn't say I made any progress, and I also wouldn't say I slid back, which is good. That's a win. Okay, and my second personal goal for 2023 was work path. Said, where am I going long term? Um, do I want to go back to school? I thought I just wouldn't be happy with my current job that I'm in. And I feel really good about this goal. I, again, I was promoted, so I moved to a different department and... I just love it. I could honestly see myself just retiring at this job as long as I do a little work on myself, but that's nothing about the job that I hate. Um, I definitely don't see this work as a stepping stone like I did when I first started. And the last goal for 2023 was a cleaning schedule. I wanted more balance. I didn't like that I kept pushing like the majority of the cleaning off to the weekend. And I'm gonna say I failed at that too. There was some things that I did start doing on a schedule, but the majority of my cleaning is still done every Saturday and Sunday. So, gotta work on that still. And then my 2023 ASMR goals were 
to be consistent, figure out the train schedule, and to work on my skills for filming and editing. And I definitely did not do any of those. Um, Consistency-wise, I took a lot of breaks in 2023 and just didn't stay. Monday to Friday, Monday and Friday upload. Um, I cannot figure out the train schedule. I think it's a cargo train, but I could be wrong. That goes by, and I just can't find it anywhere. And then for working on skills, I just didn't focus on that. I mean, I wasn't consistent. So when I was doing something with ASMR, it was more of like, let me just get something up as opposed to let me kind of mess around with everything. So didn't do much with that either. So I said this last year, but I just want to make a point to say it again and probably say it every single time I do one of these videos. I don't think it's a huge deal if you don't meet the goals that you set yourself. I think as long as you're working towards something, or as long as you're reflecting on, you know, if those goals still align with what you need, or you're know, working towards them, then I think you're fine. Did I meet any of my goals? Let me just double check. Not really. Um the work path one, which I think is probably the most important. I feel like, I feel pretty good about that, so it doesn't bother me. So with that said, moving on to my 2024 goals, um, I want a cleaning schedule. And this time I actually sat down and made a cleaning schedule. So I just did that today. I just laid out like I sectioned off my house and broke it down into how much time I want to spend, which one I'll spend time on each day, and also like an overall tidy, how much time goes into that, and then like giving myself days off as well, so like every Sunday or Saturday I can alternate depending on how the weekend goes. One of those days I won't be cleaning. I can just relax or have fun, do what I need to do. But I'm feeling pretty good about that because last year I didn't set, I didn't even make a schedule. So how am I supposed to stick to a cleaning schedule if I don't even make it? So I made one for 2024. And my next goal, personal goal for 2024 is kind of like chunking out my anxiety and like health goals. Um, it's a lot. I feel like every single year I'm like, I want to improve something to do with my anxiety or my depression or something with my mental health. And it's a lot. Like, anytime you're trying to improve yourself, that's a lot to take one. So I'm trying to focus on one thing that I really want to improve on. So anxiety wise, I really want to fix or focus on something that kind of relates with my job. Like if I can get better at this, uh, it's just going to make my job so much easier. It's going to make me love my job even more than I already do. Um, and that's just like, just do it. I have phone anxiety to where I don't want to pick up the phone and call a stranger and ask them a bunch of questions, which that is like an aspect of my job sometimes. So going into 2024, I really want to force myself to work on that, again because I need it for my job, but also in my personal life, that's really going to help me um, because it's not just my job that I have an issue with picking up the phone. And I know 
that might sound stupid, but I'm not gonna feel bad about it or apologize for it. It's just one of those things. So, what I am telling myself is, like, just do it. So, if I don't have the information that I need and I can't find it, I need to set myself up, you know, to get ready to make some calls. I need to set myself 10 minutes to just freak out about having to make that call because I know that I'm going to, so instead of freaking out the entire day, the entire night, and then up until I have to make that call, I just want to not make myself sick and I want to just go, okay, here's your time, freak out, and then bam, pick up the phone, do your calls, and then move on. And then I am lumping like health with that because I have a lot of anxiety when it comes to like doctors and going to appointments. I haven't had, or I've had some bad experiences with doctors, so this coming year I am gonna really try and work on kind of advocating for myself and speaking up a little bit more when I go, so putting that just kind of with that little anxiety work on or like anxiety goal for 2024. And then my last personal goal is going to kind of just, I'm trying to think how to say it, to kind of just work on myself. And I know that sounds broad, but I mean it as in, um, I do get overwhelmed very quickly or like sensory overload and it just shoots me right to anger, which isn't good. So I just, I need to work on that. I need to kind of recognize and be vocal about when I'm just feeling very overwhelmed or, you know, when there's, it's just sensory overload. Just being vocal about that, let others know, and then kind of just take a step back because to others, it seems like I'm just getting angry out of nowhere, and that's not good for them, that's not good for me, so just a lot of communication I want to work on. And then the other thing I want to work on with myself is kind of like how I'm being perceived. I feel like sometimes I say more than I should, or things come off a certain way and I don't mean them to come off the way that they do. So I can have a very dry humor um, and I'm not around a lot of people, which isn't an excuse, but I feel like sometimes I'm just like saying things that aren't like socially acceptable or like why am I saying those things? Nobody needs for me to say that, like, just keep some things in your head type thing because it's making me come off a certain way, like, it's making me come off very pessimistic sometimes or angry, and again, I know that Maybe that goes hand in hand with like not being vocal about sometimes why I get angry, but me also saying things that I don't really mean or like I'm being against a very dry humor. Um, it's not helping my case, I guess is what I mean. So just kind of working on that, just like how others perceive me or like how I want to come off to the world and those around me that I love and care about, um, that's something that I really want to focus on. So that's my like three personal goals. And then my goal for ASMR is just very simple in 2024. I just want to be relaxed with it and have fun. So 
I think a lot of my issues were like not posting or like when I have delays it's just I'm being super hard on myself about something that's literally just a hobby and I mean not that the views matter but it's like I want to say on average I get maybe like 100 to 200 views a video, which it's like, I don't think you should ever put pressure on yourself, no matter your views, but like, come on. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to be like, basically nobody's watching these, I'm just doing this like as a hobby and to have fun, so why am I putting this pressure on myself? I want to be able to obviously like what I'm putting out, and if I can't keep to my Monday, Friday schedule, I want to be able to just post on my YouTube community page and just kind of like what I did the other week where I was like, hey, I listened back to this and it's not good. So things like that, I just want to be able to say, you know, I want to have fun with what I'm doing. I want to try really hard to keep with my Monday, Friday upload schedule, but I also want to be open and honest with you guys and just say, hey, there's not going to be a video up or just kind of stay, just open communication with you guys. I guess a lot of what I'm working on for 2024 is just communication, so that's going to extend to you guys as well. Um, I want to be able to say, hey, the video was not good. I don't have anything else filmed, see you next time, or like, I'm struggling with this, and this is why you won't see a video, something like that. And it's not like anyone's saying, girl, like, what are you doing? Post a video, that's not it at all. Um, it's just I put this pressure on myself sometimes to, like, get videos out and to stick to a schedule. And I feel really bad when I don't, and I just don't think that's something that I need. Why put that extra stress on myself? So, yeah, that's just one goal this year for ASMR is just be relaxed about it, have fun, and yeah, just keep doing on what I'm doing. So overall, for 2024, I'm just really excited to kind of softly and gently work on myself, and I wouldn't be upset if I had another year where it kind of all just blends together, just a very relaxed year. I'm more than okay with that. I would also be interested in hearing what your goals are for 2024, um, and kind of what you're looking forward to the most, if you have anything planned, or you know what you're just, maybe out of all the goals that you have, the one that you really want to work on, something like that. But that's pretty much it for me on this video. As always, I like to end off with first thanking all of you for being with me through this ASMR journey and, you know, just all of us having a good time together. It's something I really appreciate. It's still something that, again, just brings me so much joy. Uh, I do encourage every single one of you, um, even if it's not ASMR related, to just jump into whatever you think would kind of bring you some happiness or just a little bit joy to your day, because, yeah, this is, it's so much fun. Such a great community, and I'm really, again, just grateful for all of you. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I always like to end it with just kind of a video recap of the year, and I'm also going to throw just a few bloopers at the end. I didn't have two many this year to kind of do a separate video, so yeah, here's a look back of all the videos that I put out in 2023.
Looks like you've had quite a few makeovers today, so let's get all of that makeup off of you and get you ready for your next character. Let me just move your hair back here. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. Right. They also did, in that session, a sap by the ocean. And I don't know if they did an eye of your missing, or in smooth sailing. And there was, you know, some aspects about the job that really flared up some of my mental health issues. Going back down to those midnight runs. Thank you. 